Also developing tonight, Israel is weighing its next steps after a weekend attack by Iran involving hundreds of weaponized drones. A source tells NBC News an Israeli response might be imminent. Whatever happens next, a Columbus woman tells me she will be there to do what is important to Jewish people. She will bear witness, as she did Saturday night in the midst of Tel Aviv's Democracy Square. And this video came to us from Marcy Flesher, the owner of a Columbus PR firm, who went to Tel Aviv to take part in a week-long volunteer mission. She was at this rally of 10,000 people Saturday night when the Ministry of Defense warned everyone to seek shelter because Iranian missiles were incoming. She made her way back to her 11th floor hotel room. So in our hotel are a number of Israeli families from the north, and next door to me is a family with two little kids. When I went into the hallway, going to the stairwell, they were there too. So I helped them go down 11 floors with a baby in a stroller and a suitcase filled with formula. And I think that's when I was most nervous and realized this is how Israelis live. And frankly, it's how the people in Gaza live. It's how the people in Ukraine live. This is the most heartbreaking reality I've ever experienced. Flesher was part of a mission with the Jewish National Fund to do things like pick fruit and prepare kosher meals for Israeli soldiers. The official mission was canceled, but she says half of the 150 volunteer participants stayed on, determined to help out this week in any way they can. So how does she explain to her family her decision to stay on in the midst of a missile threat? We'll have that tonight at 11, and her answer might surprise you.